Hi, I'm Brian Lautenslager, founder of Lauten Audio, and today I'm going to show you how to polish the head and shock mount of the Eden LT386 microphone. Okay, I like to start with a stable surface, and uh, I want to have the microphone on something soft uh, in general. You're going to need a applicator rag. You're going to need a polishing rag. We like to use uh, a Flitz metal polisher. And you will need a 2.5 millimeter hex or Allen wrench in order to remove the mount. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the mount. And we have, I believe we have a separate video on removing the mount, but there are two bolts on the back of the mount. And what they do is when you tighten them, they cause the scissors to close down. And when you loosen them, that causes the scissors to loosen. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And then the mount slides off this way. And then I'm set the mount aside. So first I'm going to start with the microphone. And one of the great things about this flitz is you hardly need any polish and it goes a long way. So I'm gonna I like to just take my finger, put it in my rag, and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of polish, like maybe a pea size. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to just dot it around the microphone a little bit. I'm gonna start with the ring, and this is gonna be enough for the whole ring, probably, probably most of the sides. Uh, etc. So let me go ahead and just kind of dab it around the microphone. And one thing you want to be sure to avoid is avoid getting the polish into the grill. You certainly don't want it to get it to the capsule and it's not, you know, it's not going to fall all the way through to the capsule really easily or anything like that. But I uh, just want to try to avoid getting it on the grill because it'd be quite difficult to get it off. And then I'm just going to start and I use a swirling motion. If you guys ever waxed a car or had to polish a motorcycle with a lot of chrome. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, another thing I like to avoid is getting it on the, the body as well. And if you want, you can use like the blue painter's tape to kind of tape around here or tape these areas off. I'm a, you know, I'm more experienced, so I'm kind of used to this, um, but that can be a good idea for you as well. Let's just go ahead. And as you can see, you can see how far this flitz goes. I mean, I'm able to just take a little bit from here, move it up onto the top of the microphone. Okay, so once I get it all on there, uh, it may be easier for you if you let it dry a little bit. Uh, since I'm just doing a video, I wanna do this fairly quickly, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start to remove it with my, my polishing rag. Um, and I just kinda, start with a circular motion and kind of doing the whole head at one time. And then I'm going to rotate the rag after I kind of go around it once. You can see how much polish came off. Turn it around. And remove it. Again, using my finger to get into the groove and the lip. As you can see, it's shining up nicely. So there, now that the head is done, I'll put the microphone aside and I go ahead and start on the mount. And so with the mount, one of the things I like to uh, watch out for, I like to do it in sections. So I'll start applying, you know, to all the top parts here, and then maybe I'll apply to the inner part. I just like to work in sections that way I can kind of help myself from missing certain areas when I remove the polish or when I'm applying the polish. And again, you need just a very small amount of flits. And then I'm going to start dabbing it around just like I did with the head. And I can kind of come back to my first dab, grab a little bit more. And this really is going to go a long way. I can probably do the entire mount with just that one dab. Work my backside. Apply 
pass them to the inside. So right now I'm just trying to dab all around it and get it set up for when I'm gonna go through and start to do my actual polishing. And then my front pieces, I'm just gonna kind of dab once on each side on these posts just to get some polish there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just work my way around and start doing my actual polishing. And again, depending on how tarnished it is, it depends on how much pressure you're gonna to have to put down on it. Okay, I'm gonna do the inner. All right, so one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to wait to do uh, the stand mount adapter and the wing nut until the end. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, polishing rag to remove all this stuff first, and then I'm gonna finish off with the uh, stand mount. And you wanna, you know, rules of polishing, turn the frag frequently, use a different part of it as you're removing the polish. And I'm using my finger now to kind of get into those tight spots. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my stand mount. I'm gonna, this loosened up as I was gone, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that to make it a little bit easier. And you may not even need any more polish. You may be able to, you can remember where you last used it. There may be enough polish on there polish that stand mount for you, or you may need a tiny bit more amount. In my case here, I have enough left over on my rag to take care of this. And if you've got an area that's a little bit difficult, go ahead and go over it once more, or add just a little bit more flits. And I'm not even using any pressure to squeeze it out. I'm just kind of dabbing at what's, what's there right at the opening. And I want to polish this a little bit more. Okay, so my mount's pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the microphone. So to do this, I want to line up the voicing switch on the back of the microphone with the center of the mount. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this back on. And you remember my one, my one bolt came out, so I'm just gonna kinda squeeze these together a little bit. I can get my bolt started a little bit easier. And I like to leave about a quarter inch from the voicing switch to the top of the mount. So it allows my finger to get in there and it also uh, will fit back in your hard case. Uh, you'll notice that there's a cutout for the mount and the microphone in the hard case. And 
and I will give it a once over once I have the mount back on as well. Okay. And if I happen to see any areas I left behind, just kind of finish those off. And that's it. Oh, I forgot the front. And now we've polished our Eden microphone.